Hi Taurus, welcome to your quantum reading. Wow, this is for Taurus Sun, Moon, or Rising. Welcome to my cross watchers. Cross watcher, you could be dealing with a Taurus and the message actually is for you. So feel free to take it however it resonates with you and your situation. Keep in mind that these are general and timeless readings. If you guys are wanting to check out any of my services, everything is located down below in the description box so you can check out everything there. Um, you can also follow me over on Instagram. I just post more things on quantum physics and crazy things that I play around with over there. And thank you guys so much for liking, subscribing. Thank you for all the ways that you've supported the channel. Here we go. All right. So you guys might be focusing a lot on your stability. I always read one more somewhere Tarians. They like their, um, see you have this castle here they like their comforts in fact i read in this book that um taurus since you're ruled by venus most of the time like you just feel like you'd rat you might it's not that you're opposed to adventure i think that's like you want to go out or do things or get out and about whatever but in general you enjoy being at home surrounded by beauty. <laughs> That's like uh, what I'm picking up from this card or just the things that you value a lot in life. Oh, but something is upside down a little bit here. So we have injustice, repercussions, karmic lesson, acceptance, and law. Okay. So some of you guys could be dealing with some kind of karmic situation. You might be um, in, you might be in the midst of a karmic lesson right now. It might not be the most enjoyable, to be honest. Um, and you have like some kind of commitment to the truth. You might be feeling like something is a little unfair right now. But there's something here about equality or um, something like that. But I, crazy that even this card came out. We have truth. Both of these are have that written all over it. That is actually Venus energy. It's te technically Libra, but you're you share the same planet as Libra, so I'm seeing something here where you have a commitment to the truth. Or you might be sticking to the truth. I don't... 100% um, no. Wow, this is like a really... Okay. Yeah, let's dive into this. This is really interesting. So, we have the hanged man. Okay. We have the Two of Cups, the Ace of Swords, that, that's the truth, wow. Wow. Oh, okay, I'm picking up on some interesting stuff here. So we have the Four of Wands, the King of Cups. There's some kind of marriage or commitment here. We have the Eight of Wands. The Queen of Wands. Oh, wow. And then we have the Queen of Swords and the Page of Cups. Okay. Page of Pentacles. Yeah. Something coming in in a new direction. Wow. Well, there's definitely a few different energies going on here. There's something that's been playing out that's been unfair. Also, there, this is a really weird combination because I'm seeing that there is like, someone had made a vow, it looks like that's been broken somehow here, okay? Or like things were unfairly done. 
it looks like I could be wrong, Taurus. You look like you're on the receiving end to this. It's not to say that you're, you don't have some kind of accountability in the situation, but it looks like you are, okay, okay. So this looks like a very conflicting situation, to be honest, because I'm going to say here, someone made a commitment some of you guys, it's either that someone was committed or in a relationship or made some kind of vow here. If those are marriage vows, whew. so the truth is out right now. And I feel as though this whole situation is a bit on hold. Um, probably because you might be changing something about the situation, especially with the Queen of Swords, I do think this is about that you're, like, um, detaching from the situation or you're holding firm to your boundaries here because you know the truth of the situation. I don't know. I, I mean, the Justice card is a, especially upside down, which I wouldn't normally take, but it looks like there is some injustice and I think it's been done to you because I keep getting this whole thing where you're holding on to the truth and which is also making me think that there's another person here that's either trying to convince another person of you but your mind is solid like you almost like something about your energy isn't faltering you could just be ultra protective of your um like emotional side that would be more susceptible to this person because the page of cups is a little bit like gullible or naive and that's what it feels like to me in this situation because the page of cups and the king of cups is an age difference not for all of you that's not going to be the whole case but it looks like to me that you are really holding to your boundaries like quite a bit more but you're uh, you've increased your knowledge or your intelligence and that's why you are not being swayed in any way okay i almost want to say that you like the way that your energy could be coming across in this situation is that you're like doing the right thing I don't know. There's something about your integrity that could be coming into play here. Or you're like doing little internal checks. But it's like your mind is pretty solid about how you interacted with the situation. Because it looks like, to me at least, that you're very clear-minded. And I think it's because you have some knowledge or awareness that another energy doesn't but that you have some kind of side of yourself that's emotionally this is going to come across bad but it's not meant to but it's like you have some kind of emotional um stunted growth but it's like to your benefit it made you susceptible to a person's energy like this person was more developed or had more experience or knowledge or they could have seen they have like a different level of themselves okay i don't see anything like super bad i think that this person here like the truth is out is what i want to say and um you're solid like as far as your mind goes you're dealing with another person here that might be pretty fired up in this situation um, it also looks like there's a distance here between these two. There's either like a lot of messages that are taking place right here. There's a person here that's like, they're not acting fairly. I, they might be trying to over justify that or say that, but something about them is like, they're going through some karmic lesson at this time. It's not looking the best. So, but this eight of wands is that... There is a, this person, there's a lot of communication that's taking place between these two energies. I don't know how that's playing out or how it's taking place, but there's like, there's a distance here, but this person is very much keeping their energy 
like they're fueling this person to take action or to do something specific and you might be the one you have an alternate view of the situation and there's another person that doesn't I know this might sound vague but I'm trying to say it as general and vague as possible this person doesn't have the same perception of you on the situation as you have because you could have seen this person in a in a different arena or interacted with them in some different way they might have said something that um was like to go against this person but they're trying to highly energize or build this person's confidence up they're there's a lot of interaction there that's taking place. Maybe because there's a lot of concern. But um, about something about the truth coming out. Because look at I can't even make it up. Like Ace of Swords is a breakthrough in energy. It's like a truth. And I'm getting here that you like... Okay. For those of you, there could have been this really... Um, a little bit of a complicated situation playing out because I'm seeing that you made a decision to keep your boundaries strong purely out of self-love. It wasn't in any way other than that. You feel a strong emotional connection to a person, but certain things keep transpiring. You might see something going on with the hanged man that almost like there's something on the hanged man is a holding pattern. And you might be seeing that there's a particular area of your life that is on hold or it's not moving. And it could be because like there's still things playing out because you might still be connected to this person, which is why you're kind of at this point of making necessary changes no matter what. Also, there could be a child involved here. Maybe more. I'm not like Page of Cups. That could be... Um, somehow applicable if that's not your own energy like I talked about where you're protecting your own emotional sensitivities or the own, your own growth because you might realize that if you want to become emotionally mature you'll have to hold really strong to your boundaries because there's something about that's why I was trying to say it as delicately as possible when we talk about emotional immaturity it can be tied to trauma and CPTSD so it's not in any way to shame it's talking about genuinely if you want to grow up emotionally from this situation you're gonna have to cut ties in or just really strong boundaries you guys need to really decipher what those look like in this particular situation because it looks like to me that when you are connected with a particular human your emotional growth becomes stunted that's why I was like picking up on that and it's causing some issue in possibly another area of your life because there's karma playing out here and you'll and I've everyone goes through this so that's to be taken very seriously but for those of you if there is some kind of like you're dealing with a person that made a commitment somewhere um yeah there's like a truth of, but this is crazy that these cards are coming out anyway you might be just protecting what you grew or your you have a focus on that like i talked about at the beginning you are like you have a foundation built for yourself. It looks like it's abundant. You also have something here. You might be focusing on home and um, stability, things like that. That looks like very good. Anyway, very interesting. Um, let me dive into the extended. I'll get more details on it. If you guys want to join me over there, feel free. Go down below, click on the Vimeo link, see it over there. But Taurus, if this is where we leave things, sending you so much love, wishing you all the very best. See you in your next reading. Take care.